All right, I'm back with another Cigars and Conversations. Late night with Vess. So before I get started, I want to show y'all my moonshine, my moonshine collection that I got before I tripped to the sea a few weeks ago. All right, so let me show y'all this real quick before I get started. All right, so I got some, I got like five and then I got two for free. All right, so this is like banana flavored, banana pudding flavored moonshine right here. This one's, that one's pretty good. Oh, what else? Let me see. This is some chocolate moonshine. This is Orange Dream Sickle. Right there. This is this is one of the free ones. This is um, some grapefruit. Grapefruit flavored moonshine. I like grapefruit, so I figured, hey, why not? I'll try it. Here is coconut rum. This is strong right here, man. And this one here is peach bourbon moonshine this is kind of like the peach crown something like that and then the last one i got here is apple pie flavored moonshine this one's pretty good this is what i'm sipping on tonight yeah so yeah but that was a nice little trip i took man tennessee i done been to tennessee quite a few times but this is my first time going to the mountains in the fall and when i tell you man it was so so beautiful man it's is man it's just nice to be able to see something different because we don't get nothing like that down here you know the, all the different colors from the trees during the the change of the seasons man you got red yellow green brown orange burgundy all these different colors man it's it's, it's breathtaking when i tell you man i mean pictures is one thing but to see it is, is a whole whole nother experience it's like i say down here what we get we get two seasons really that's it we only get what summertime and we kind of get like fall and spring is like around the same time our fall down here is is in like february march that's when the the, the uh, trees shed and they go from green to brown that's that's all we get down here so you know we got you got to go up north man you got to leave the state to be able to experience the different seasons like everybody else get in the country so but like i said it was just nice and that's probably going to be something that i do annually just go somewhere north just to be able to see the different changes in the seasons all right so what i want to talk about today was I was talking to a friend of mine. She know I take my trips, and I, I was just telling her that a lot. Some of my trips are solo trips, like the the, the long trip that I do in springtime when I'm gone for like a few weeks. That's my solo trip that I do, and it's because of the length of time that I'm gone. But the other trips I take, the week trip or the weekend trip, I like to I like to have some company with me. Of course, I'm talking about a female. So, I was just telling her that when I do those trips, they willingly contribute to the expenses incurred. So, for example, I was telling her like, if I take a week trip, everything is, most, mostly everything is already paid for before we even leave. I take care of the hotel accommodation, I take care of that. I take care of the rental car if, if there's a need. This time I took my truck, but it was just like renting a car. The amount of money I spent in gas, that, that would have been like renting a car pretty much. Um, I take care of all that. So the bulk of the expenses are already taken care of before we even leave. But she'll contribute like, um, like if we go out to eat, she may take care of the, take care of the bill. Uh, or, or like if we do some fun stuff, you know, she'll take care of that too. Or like, let's say we do like a weekend. If, if I do pay for one weekend trip, she'll pay for the next one. Like, you know, we take turns. She, homegirl had a problem with that. You know, she was like, oh no, 
I would never do nothing like that. Like, if I go with a guy, the guy got to pay for everything. I ain't paying for I'm like, really? Like, I say, like, in 2022, ladies, please tell me. I'm just hoping that she's the minority. But we ain't doing this right. We ain't, we not, we don't have the attitude that, that y'all not paying for nothing. That's, that's the attitude. I mean, I kind of can understand why she, she's the way she is because, you know, she was married. She was married for a long time. Um, yeah, yeah, she was married. She was. She, that's the key word. She was married, but she ain't married no more. So I was telling her, baby, baby girl, them days is over, man. When you sign them divorce papers, that life ended. <laughs> it's a new day, you know. I mean, I guess she was. She's used to being. You know, I guess her her ex husband he he was the type of dude that paid for everything. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. You meet somebody when you're in your twenties, and that's your, you all's arrangement. You was housewife, whatever the case is, and and he took care of the expenses. Hey man, that's fine, but like man, it's it's hard. I told her, boy, it's, it's gonna be hard to find somebody like that today. Especially being an older woman, that's that's a hard. That's that's gonna be hard. I say it's possible, but it ain't probable. The likelihood of that happen happening is very slim. But yeah, uh, yeah, man. But I mean, it, it's okay to, hey, this is okay. If if the dude, if you rocking with a dude that's that's. He has the means to be able to take you places, take you nice places, do nice things for you, take you on, on a nice trip for a week. It's all right to buy the man something to eat. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Y'all making bread. You don't want to spend none of it. I was telling her, man, that ain't a good attitude to have. That's not cool, boy, because a lot of times, man, like when you with a dude that can afford things like that, it's not that he needs your help, but it's nice to see. It's nice to see that you have a willing spirit. I mean, that's all. A lot of times, that's all we want to see that you're willing to. In most cases, we won't even let you pay. You know what I'm saying? I mean, a lot of times, some you got to pay. Sometimes, like, come on, you making money, you got, yeah, you got to pay for something, even if it's dinner, uh, putting putting filling to take up with gas, something. If the man don't pay for everything, that's come on now, you can do that. Yeah, man, we could do though. We don't like that. We don't like that entitled feeling that you entitled and that we got to. Because like a, a person like me, see, I don't know how many guys are like that, but see, I, I go somewhere by myself. And the thing, that's the funny thing about it. She was like, she had the nerve to tell me that you don't ever have to worry about me wanting to go somewhere with you. That's what she told me. <laughs> oh man. I said, what makes you think that you get an invite? I said, I wouldn't take nobody like you with me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I go by myself first. <laughs> but yeah, ladies, man, it's, it's, you know, I mean, if you got a dude that can afford to do things like that for you, man, you know, it's all right to go into your purse and, and, and pay for something, offer to pay for something. As a matter of fact, take him. If you got a dude, take him somewhere. If he if he's taking you places and done things like that for you, take him on a little weekend trip, Friday to Monday or to Sunday or whatever. Do something like that for him and, and see how far that takes you, man. It's gonna take you much further than that entitled spirit. I'm telling you, trust me. That entitled stuff, man. That might get you one trip. You come across the right dude. That'll get you one trip. Might get, might get you take it out once or twice. It'd be a one and done, and then that's it. Yeah, that's it. That ain't, ain't gonna take you far. So yeah, man, take him on a weekend trip and, and see how that work out for you. And let me know. Let me know how it work out. And um, I'll see y'all on the next cigars and conversations late night.